energetic state, we're going to help them to reposition the cells in their body. And sometimes, like me, my body needed to be remediated 25 years ago when I ended up with brain tumors. And hmm. brain tumor for me could have meant the death of me. Wow. It did. Eight years ago, me, in fact, 12 years ago, it meant the death of my husband. But hmm. because I was able to adapt, I'm here. Wow. If you cannot adapt, that's a simple thing. When we looked at um, last year with the COVID, that was not something that came to us by overnight. It didn't. I had hmm. been given information prior to prepare my staff and to prepare some of my clients. And so when I started talking to them back then about virtually serving them where you can be in London and I'm in Miami and I can work with you to help your body to do the transition. Yeah. My, many of my fellow colleagues thought it was madness. How are you wow. going to see patients by, by the phone? How are you going to see patients? I said, There's, it's more than the phone. I can actually sit in my office and digitally look at the imprint that is mm -hmm. on an individual's body. And when wow. you look at the imprint, because all of us carry a natural imprint and we take it to ourselves that, you know, if my mom had diabetes, that means I'm going to have diabetes. Not necessarily. You can remediate that imprint. And so what I did in the research and the study over the last six years, because our company I graduated from school 2013, 2014, we began practice. And so really we're almost into our seventh year of practice. Okay. And what that has done, I love that number for seven is God's perfect number. So when we look, we had to adapt by creating a system. We have a methodology today that's called the bulb system. Okay. And it's like when a light bulb comes on, it gives you the ability to see. That's the first thing if I look in the book of Genesis, it says, and the darkness was on the face of the earth, and God said, let there be light. So if you have light inside of your physical sphere, in your nutrition, you'll understand what to eat, what foods to eat, and when to eat them. Most people grab spinach, okay. and spinach is a healthy food, right? But if you take spinach in and yeah. you don't add some kind of tomato or drink a bit of orange juice to the spinach, there's no vitamin C added to it. That spinach did not do anything in your body. So we empower wow. our clients to begin to now think through the process of how do we bring healing in. With COVID, we had to look that it was a respiratory tract. And okay. we look at the different systems inside of the body and see what pattern or what imprint they hold. If it's respiratory, there's sometimes our bodies are in grief, our minds are in grief, our soul is in grief. Okay. And it's when you go to heal in the soul, the mind, and the body, you release the grief that is over that individual sphere. Okay. And the influence that you create in their body is going to come in one of the five areas that we focus on. But by no means do we feel like those are the, it's the only five. When we look okay. at COVID, we then had to look at the vitamin D. What is the level inside of our patient's body? What is the sunlight? Here's what happened. I happen to have a lot of melon. So my, my complexion is dark. Yeah. And with melon, I block the sunlight from going directly in. Hmm. What happens is in the wintertime, and most people don't recognize that, that in the wintertime, the reason why we see COVID numbers go higher is that we go even more inside of our homes yeah. rather yeah. than outside where we get direct sunlight. Yeah. Your sunlight, your environment, what is the environment that you're in? If I'm constantly worried about a situation, I put pressure on my kidney, but my kidney loves to do something. It's going to throw it to another organ and say, I don't want to deal with this stress. You go handle that. Wow. It comes back to my heart. It comes back to my lip. It comes back and it shows up in different ways in the body. So unless we teach our clients how to adapt and teach okay. our practitioners how to adapt to provide care to our clients, what we find is our systems are overwhelmed and no one there to assist them to find the answers. Wow. And that's what we're here for. We'll ask better questions and better answers will appear and we will create a better quality of life. Wow, wow, amazing. I mean, this is 
this is you know like i said this is almost like nicola 101 you know <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot of stuff that you so you you're telling us that you know vitamin d is so important for for, for the body it is absolutely vital that yeah. our bodies get vitamin c that's why when we look at covid it's a classic disease where when you go now where do they say sit outside if you go to a restaurant sit outside where you can get direct sunlight and air those are the things that we need and the vitamin d comes from the sun that is a part of what we can take in naturally yeah. but if we were to go and say well you know she said to go take vitamin d by the way let me do the disclaimer i'm not your <laughs> physician therefore i don't know what the conditions you may be facing but what yeah. i can tell you is how to better adapt your body and your lifestyle to that's do right. well that's so right. now what happens if you go and you grab a vitamin d if you don't have calcium to match that vitamin d also guess what it doesn't go in it's wow. not bioavailable for your body your body don't just take it in no it will become some of the most expensive things that you will do and you'll flush them you've got to make sure that your body is in a consistent place where you are teaching it and allowing it to adapt so you okay. can change. When you understand the power of foods and the ability to change, the strawberries that we have today, if we look at the original strawberries, they're not the same. Our okay. food adapt, and yet we want to remain the same. Our okay. stress level, if you look at the stress level now versus when I was born, the stress level has gone up tremendously. And here's what we've done. We've only caused more stress to happen within the system. So when I look at hydration and that system, what have we done better than anything else in the last 40 years? The last 40 years, we have learned how to bottle things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever think about bottling your emotions? People bottle yeah. their emotion. It's hmm. going to make you sick. We bottle water. It's going to make you sick because let me share something with you about water hydration. We grab bottled water and we grab those bottles of water. They're usually in plastic. The plastic that is usually toxic to the system is it's bad enough. But as it begins to go through the process to be refilled or be filled, those bottles have to be heated to a certain temperature. And then those bottles leach in our water. And guess what? They can make us sick. So when they come to our centers and we're speaking with them now virtually, we're teaching people how to create better options for their bodies so Excellent. their bodies can heal. Because God put and designed an inner mechanism within us that we can heal. Wow. Now, do not discard what the doctor says. The doctor says something. It's like I have a girlfriend and she's on medication now. and for COVID and the first thing she did, she said, hey, let me ask you a question. What do I do? Yes, there are things that I have done consistently with my family or my friends that have caused them, even though they may have contra contracted co COVID, they're not in the hospital. They mm -hmm. have not died. They are living and they're mm -hmm. living beyond. Wow. You have to become adaptable so that when crisis like COVID happens, this is not the first time. This may be the second time that we've had the numbers that we've seen. But here's what happened. You know, Hippocrates says, let food be thy medicine. Hmm. How many people really look at as food as their medicine? We had a movie that came out in the U.S. a couple of years back. It said they were fat, sick, and the third part was dead. And that's the part that we must become adaptable to, that we don't die in this mm. crisis that we're in adjust mm. to the crisis adjust, adjust what you're doing wow wow and when, wow. You, when you change that your life will be extended my wow. mom came through covid my son came through covid and wow. by no means do i take it on that's why i went to school i said to someone you know i didn't go to school because i wanted to be this brilliant doctor that no 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 i did it because i overcame the challenge of abnormal cell growth called cancer. Okay. My husband died from it. Therefore, I knew that the potential for my children having cancer was greater than anything else. 
Mm. And so as a selfish mom, I went back to school to study to make sure if my family ever became ill, I could get them well. And mm. that's what I've done with my family over the last year 